सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ फ्लोराइड लेड नाइट्रेट एंड आयरन इन अ वॉटर सैंपल फ्रॉम एन अंडरग्राउंड लेक वॉज फाउंड टू बी वन थाउजेंड पीपीबी फोर्टी पीपीबी पीपीबी इट स्टैंड फॉर पार्ट्स पर बिलियन एंड हंड्रेड पीपीएम पार्ट्स पर मिलियन एंड जीरो पॉइंट टू पीपीएम रेस्पेक्टिवली दिस वॉटर इज अनसुटेबल फॉर ड्रिंकिंग ड्यू टू हाई कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज लेड सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज नाइट्रेट द थर्ड ऑप्शन इज आयरन एंड द फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज फ्लोराइड सो वॉट इज द प्रेस्क्राइब लिमिट ऑफ फ्लोराइड फॉर फ्लोराइड द प्रेस्क्राइब लिमिट इज टेन पीपीएम If I talk about lead, the prescribed limit for lead is fifty ppb. If I talk about nitrate, the prescribed limit for nitrate is fifty ppm, and for iron, it is zero point two ppm. so let us see in which case the prescribed limit exceeds in case of fluoride this is 1000 parts per billion which is less than 10 ppm in case of lead lead is 40 ppb but the prescribed limit is 50 ppb if i consider nitrate it is 100 ppm which is above the prescribed limit which is 50 ppm so the correct answer is this is unsuitable for drinking due to the presence of excess nitrate now let us move to the next question the main oxides formed on combustion of lithium sodium and potassium in excess of air are respectively the first option is lio2 na2o2 and k2o second option is li2o2 na2o2 and ko2 the third option is li2o na2o2 and ko2 and the fourth option is li2o na2o and ko2 as we know lithium gives us oxide on combustion sodium gives us peroxide on combustion and potassium gives us superoxide on combustion which is the third option li2o na2o2 and ko2 so the correct answer is option number 3 now let us move to the next question so this is the next question thiol group is present in the first option is cysteine the second option is cysteine the third option is methionine and the fourth option is cytosine these are alpha amino acids and in case of cysteine the structure is sh ch2 chnh2 cwh so cysteine has sh group which is thiol hence the correct answer for this question is option number 2 next question says galvanization is applying a coating of first option is chromium second option is copper third option is zinc and the fourth option is lead as we know galvanization means the coating of zinc so the correct answer for this question is option number 3 now let us move to the next question So this is the next question which of the following atoms has the highest first ionization enthalpy or ionization energy the first option is sodium second option is potassium third option scandium and the fourth option rubidium these are three s block elements and this is a d block element d block element has higher effective nuclear charge hence d block elements have higher ionization enthalpy or ionization energy as compared to s block element so that's why the correct answer is option number 3 why this is option number 3 because d block elements have higher z effective than s block elements Now let us move to the next question which says in the Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction the number of moles of sodium hydroxide and bromine used per mole of amine produced is the first option is 4 moles of sodium hydroxide and 2 moles of bromine 
The second option says 2 moles of NaOH and 2 moles of bromine. The third option is 4 moles of NaOH and 1 mole of bromine. And the fourth option is 1 mole of NaOH and 1 mole of Br2. If I write the Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction, it is we have amide RCONH2. When it reacts with 4 moles of sodium hydroxide and 1 mole of bromine, it gives us 1 mole of amine plus Na2CO3 plus 2 moles of sodium bromide plus 2 moles of water. So, this is the balanced chemical reaction Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction. In this reaction, we can see 4 moles of sodium hydroxide is used and 1 mole of bromine is used. So, the correct answer for this question is option number 3, where 4 moles of sodium hydroxide and 1 mole of Br2 is written. So, now let us move to the next question.